lucky girl, ain't ya? Yeah. And it's time you two are going. I haven't been here long. Family comes first. It's worse when his mates are around. All shouting and yelling and driving their cars. Doesn't your mum stop them? She's too scared. Your mum's scared of him. Jodie's doing so well that I don't want to disrupt her. It's good occasional contact. Well, she lives here now with her real family. And we don't want to mix them with the care kids anymore. Punished her enough yet. She's still got to learn. We've got to be able to trust her. Okay, Kingsley, but don't knock me in. You'll come out when you learn some respect. Don't, Kingsley! Kingsley! Jodie? Come on. What happened to your room? I'm not allowed to see you anymore. If Kingsley knew you was here, he, he wouldn't do anything. You breathe a word of this to the law or the social or any of your mates down at the kids' home and she gets it. Do you understand? Hey, you lot, come and give me a hand with this, will you? Get these bags into the house. Come on, give me a hand. Denise, good morning. Yeah. What can we well, do? Have they asked her? Sorry, uh, The cops. Asked... They've asked me and Luke to give statements. Have they asked Jodie too? I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet, OK? Well, just go in. No, Denise, no, it doesn't matter if you and Luke aren't doing it. I still have to discuss it with Jodie. There's nothing to discuss! No, Denise, I'm sorry. I've had a formal request from the police. I have to talk to her. I'm her mother. Don't I get a say in it? <laughs> Ready? Jodie, I thought you wanted to come to the hairdressers. She's been like that since you found it in the junk room. And it's the third time she's read it. I'm seriously going to have to go or I'm going to be late. I'm nearly ready. Oh. Just let me finish this little bit about Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty's for babies. He might be in the nursery rhyme, but he's not when he meets Alice. Yeah. I love the Queen of Hearts. She's so grouchy. Nah, the Mad Hatter's way better because he's just so bonkers. <laughs> Stop talking to <laughs> Jodie! Mum? Denise! Jodie! Listen, he's going to ask you to do something and you are not to do it, you hear me? Do what? What's going on? Let's talk about this in the office, shall we? We can talk about it where you want. She ain't doing it. Mum, what's go, happening? Go, please. Go. Mum! So the police want me to give a witness statement against Kingsley. <laughs> Crazy, right? Let her decide, Denise, please. There's nothing to decide. Why didn't you tell me about this? Your liaison officer only called me last night. I was going to discuss it with you this morning. What's he done this time? Just breaking and entering and handling stolen goods. From the time when you were living at home. Don't mean to say she saw nothing. So what's going on then? Yeah, those kids have been nicked again. Your mum's in a right state. It's complicated. Hi. Who are you? Uh, me, Lee. What can I do for you? Uh, where's Mike and Gina? Well, Mike's in the office and Gina doesn't work here anymore. Well, your turn. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Jodie's brother. Not that one. On Luke. If you want to know more about what's involved, we can get a policewoman to come and have a chat. You don't know chat with no policewoman, do you, love? Let her think about it. The police are very sensitive... It ain't the police I'm worried about. They won't put any pressure on you. And I'm hoping that your family will do the same thing. Oh, you took your time. Tell her. He ain't doing it either. Is that true? Imagine what would happen if you're a witness. Case goes to court. Kingsley gets off. It would make our lives misery. You know what it'd do to you for snitching? I can't do it, Mike. That's my girl. Hang on. What if Kingsley's found guilty? He can't do anything to you in prison. Does that mean I could go home? I would work my hardest to try and make that happen. But, as you know, I, I can't make any promises. It's too big a risk. Don't you want me back, Mum? Of course I do, darling. It just there's no guarantee that Kingsley will go down and... we don't snitch. Don't think of it as snitching. Think of it as, as, uh, as freedom. 
For your mom, for Luke, for you? Except you don't know that's how it's gonna go. No, no one knows how it's gonna go. So why doesn't everyone back off? Give Jodie the space to make up her own mind. Hmm? Don't do it, Jodes. Hey, hey, wait there. Don't forget this. Alice in Wonderland looks like it could do with some TLC, eh? Same goes for you. I'm here if you need me.
awkward pulling and the slithy toes. Did Gar and Gimble in the way? All Mimsy were the burgers and the moan rats outgrave. Queen of Hearts. Kingsley? Your Majesty. It doesn't. I'm busy. His Majesty sent me to cast your royal eye over the invitations. Invitations? Why didn't you say? <laughs> Snitch, and you'll be sorry. Like to say hello. First the White Rabbit, then the Queen of Hearts, and now you. And now I what? You're just as grumpy as in the book. Great to meet you, Caterpillar. Indeed. And who are you? I'm Jodie. And yet I'm none the wiser. Shame. I was hoping to ask you why I'm here. Well, you already know. I wouldn't ask if I already knew. Don't snap at me. I may be fictional, but I do have feelings. Sorry. I thought this was like my dream. And I could say what I like, and it didn't matter. Ow! Well, you're already awake, and what you say matters. Sorry. What are you doing? Preparing for the future. I'd advise you to do the same. I'm only young. I don't need to think about all that yet. A pebble dropped in a pool sends ripples further than you think. I've not heard that one. I know the one about the raven and the raven. Think! about what brought you here. Then decide what you want to do about it. How can I do that when I don't know? Who are you? I told you, I'm Jodie. Yes, that's now. But what kind of Jodie are you going to be? How do I know? Because you're the only one who can. Well, have faith in yourself. Then decide who you want to be. You are old Mother William. Wait, shouldn't that be Father William? Shouldn't you be listening instead of interrupting? Sorry. <clears throat> you are old Mother William, the young man said. And your hair's going to get very white Unless we stand up to Kingsley, maybe show him the door He's a bully, barks worse than his bite I so used to love him, yet with each day he dies Cause his leaving's the cause of such pain And his threats make me fearful for all of our lives So I lie for him time and again Twins really began the side, he toes the guy and gimbal in the way For whimsy word and borrow grows and a mom rats that grave Are we wrong? Should we rethink and quit being weak? Is our loyalty totally misplaced? Should we stop being bullied as a group? We should speak, change our home to a happier place. I know what I'm doing. Enough is enough. I'm your mother. Don't make me despair. My head aches, stop talking. All your ears are cut. Yes, be off. Or I'll lock you upstairs. Why have you changed your words? 
Well, I sung the song I know. You heard it as you chose. Are you saying you didn't put Mum and Luke in it? How could I put them in when I don't know who they are? I don't believe you. <laughs> you don't believe anyone, including yourself. What's that supposed to mean? Well, trust your instincts. If you heard something in my song, what was it trying to tell you? I don't know. Well, then I suggest you go and find out. Good day. Well, it's polite to say goodbye. God save the Queen! Comes an invitation for the Duchess to play croquet. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. You can't undo the things that you didn't mean to do once they're done. All right, but I did say I'm sorry. That's enough, Peppa! How do you know? Because I'm watching you. you know my taste, I can get. That has to be the Duchess. You've heard about our fight with the cook, then? Never stops. Would you like to meet her? Uh, I won't announce you. That's she never hear us over this racket. Actually, I think I'll leave it. Oh. I thought you'd be more curious than that. Curious? About what? Everything. Come in, come in. You're letting all the heat out. Sorry. Shall I shut the window? Stupid girl. That's how you get rid of the pepper, not the heat. And for the last time, no more pepper. I'm the cook. I decide. I'm eating it. I decide. You're crazy. Haha, <laughs> 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 you missed. Shouldn't that be a baby? Well, yeah, you're looking at it. No, it's a baby until Alice takes it outside. Then it's a pig. How dare you? My pig is a baby. Yes, but in the book it says what that... What book? A very good day to you. To shake out. I was hoping I'd get to meet you. Oh, don't encourage him. He's impotent enough as it is. Wretched thing thinks it's funny that the cook's trying to poison us. I'm not trying to poison you. It just needs more... Pepper! If you put any more pepper in that, I'm going to grind you up and I'm going to put you in. What's she doing? This. Haha, <laughs> 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 I missed me. That's <laughs> again. Who stole a pig? Who stole my pig? I don't know. You just stood by and watched someone steal my baby. It's a pig. It's a baby pig. Get it. Can't you get the Queen's guards? Yes, to arrest you if you don't get me my baby back. <laughs> Thanks. You didn't enjoy meeting the Duchess then? No. It's not my fault her rotten pig got nicked. You could have stopped him. Why didn't you? You must have seen him come out. Oh, I didn't know it was stolen. I didn't witness it. Why have I got to find it? It's so unfair. So is the Duchess losing a baby. It's a pig. It doesn't matter what it's called. It's still been stolen. I don't know how to find it. Already giving up when you haven't even started. Where's your fighting spirit, huh? <laughs>
again. You weren't listening. Sorry. What were you saying? She was going to say we're having a corks race to get dry. I can't remember what it says in the book. What are the rules? You don't need a rule book. You just need to know the one simple rule, and that is just to keep running, OK? OK. OK, everyone ready? You kindly decide who's won. Um. She should give everyone a prize for our efforts. I know in the book you all get sweets, but they make your beaks stick together. But I don't have it. Oh. Here you go. A reward for all your great efforts. You should get a prize too. I don't need a prize. Indeed you do. What else do you have in your pockets? Um, just a photo. And some sticky tape. A photo of my brother. I don't want it. It's family. You can't throw it away. You don't know my family! So just keep your beaks out! Stop! Stop! I can't keep running like this! It's so early! It's so early! A pebble dropped in a pool sends ripples further than you think. Pig. Has Kingsley run by? Who? The knife. Mm, I don't can see him. I wonder where he could have gone. Well, where would you go if you'd stolen a pig? It's not about where I'd go. It's about where my rotten brother would go. What's the worst thing you can do with a pig? The butchers! Is there one near here? That's the way. Hurry, you don't want to hand it back to the Duchess as a bacon sandwich. <laughs> Cheers. Very smell when you do that. Someone let me out! Help! All right, 
this is. Raven like a writing desk. I don't know. Why is Raven like? Let me out! We can't. We're having tea. You're always having tea. Well, it's a very important part of our day. And we're very busy doing it. Please let me out. As soon as we've finished our tea. <laughs> I'm looking for a pig. Have you seen it? This isn't a pig. It's a dormouse. Hey, it's me from the race. Please let me out. It's two days wrong. Told you Butter wouldn't fix it. But it was the very best butter. <laughs> Did the knight tell you not to? He doesn't mend watches. Not about the watch, about not letting me out of here. <laughs> Let me out! She's going with a temper. Please, she was like the, the caucus race. I do hate noisy guests. <laughs> Aren't we popular today? No room, no room. Not steak for tea. Please let me out. Good, because it's time for tea. Hang on, I'll get you out in a sec. What are you doing? Thanks. But we're about to have tea. Are you going to stay and have a cup? Hmm? All the more for us? <laughs> Breathe in and sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder. <laughs> Can you believe the Cheshire cat set me up for that trap? He never does anything for free. Someone must have bribed him. Who's got it in for you? The knave! He's trying to stop me getting the piglet back. Now do you believe he stole it? The evidence is building up. I don't want him to get away with it, though. Will you help me? I'm supposed to be partnering the Duchess of Croquet with the Queen. I was on my way there when I heard you calling. I have to go. Otherwise, the Queen will have my head. Wait, at least give me a clue on where to go next. Try the twins. Twins? Twins. Works, you should pay. And if you think we're alive, you should speak to us. You're much fat, bigger than in the books. What book? If you're going to speak to us, you have to say something that makes sense. I need to ask you something. Oh, she's going to ask us a question. Let me answer. No, you're in disgrace. I didn't break your rattle. It didn't break itself, did it? What would you like to ask? The knave stole a piglet. That's not a question, that's a statement. I know. I hadn't finished yet. Oh, she hadn't finished. Have you seen the knave? Or a piglet? I don't like the knave. No, I haven't seen a piglet. 
<laughs> that sounds like a piglet. The carpenter followed the walrus to keep him close at hand. Frown does the fellow jump for joy at the sight of so much sand. If my sister talks and I find out this hiding place would be grand, if seven forces of seventy cops dug it for half a year, they'd have no chance wherever they peer to find my sister dear. You won't get that far. I'll tell you straight, I'd stop you, is that clear? The eldest brother's crime team lies, the police wanted for a witness. Her mother's better to say no. The cops got no her business. And warns if kings he should get off, how he would deal with snitches. Hey oysters, come on walk with me. I'm about to make a speech. A fourth right talk, with a bracing walk. Along this bra uh, 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 arny beach As I make sure you're all aware Of promises I'll keep The eldest oyster stared at him But not a word she said With no sign of joy She winked her eye And shook her heavy head To show him that she'd not speak out but leave his crimes unsaid. Her eldest son, his crimes been large. The police want her for a witness. She keeps insisting she'll say no. The cops can't know her business. And warns if kings he should get off how he would deal with snitches. The time has come, I'm telling you, to talk of many things. Of thieves and cops and time inside of families who sing. You know my temper's boiling hot and what I'll do if I'm dobbed in. Oh, Jody's, Jody's brother's crime too large, the police want her for a witness. Her mother's begged her to say no, the cops can't know her business. And warns the kings he should get off how he would deal with snitches. Oh, oysters, I implore you, your future could be fun. If you ditch this stone around your necks, but answer came there none. With a gasp, I realized why. It was horrible. If you disliked it so much, wouldn't you rewrite it so it turns out differently? Um, tw twinkle, twinkle, little... Stop it! Where's the pig? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't be so dumb, dear. We can all hear it. What do you have to do that for? Because we got rid of her and then we could have kept it. Why would you want to keep a pig that you didn't ask for anyway? As an apology, to say sorry, if I did break the rattle, which I didn't. I don't care about the stupid rattles. Where's the pig? So whose rattle did you break? Nobody's. Hello, boy. Hey, give money for that pig. Yeah, and I bet you knew it was stolen. Thought so. Let's get you back to the Duchess. How do I get to the croquet lawn from here? Brillig and the slithy toes did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy were the borough grows and the moan wrath out green. Oh no, you've done it already. Done what? Painted the roses red. Well, red was what she ordered, miss. But white is what we got. So we're doing what needs doing. Otherwise, we'll get the chop. Why are we talking in life? <laughs> Nerves? <laughs> Try to, Your Majesty. Duchess! I found your pig. And where is it? It's back in the kitchens. You're welcome. What is the meaning of this? Hmm? White. Raises. When I ordered red! Guards! Off with their heads! It's a bit harsh, isn't it? The Queen doesn't like to be divided. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't care. You're cruel. And they haven't even done anything wrong. They bought white roses. That deserves punishment. And so do you. Now, what would it be? What? Uh, is it, my dear? We should get the game of croquet underway while the hedgehogs are still fresh. An excellent suggestion. Do you play? No. <laughs> of course you do. Everyone's a player. I do have honour if I were you. Thank you for the words that you said to the Queen. The punishment you gave just seemed too extreme. I just rhymed. <laughs> Come on. Let the games begin! Okay, the live mallet. Something wrong? Oh, uh, nothing, Your Majesty. Play. Ooh. Control your partner, Rabbit, or incur my displeasure. Please don't draw attention to yourself. It reflects on me. Yes. I thought that was the point of the game. Oh, oh, superb, Your Majesty. Superb. Just wonderful. Aren't you playing? Why? What's in it for you? Gonna set me up for another trap? Oh, you know the knave. He can be very persuasive. But I'm open to offers if you want the game to go a different way. Don't talk to me about games. The Queen's such an unbelievable... 